Hi, and welcome to the TGHM review of Battletoads. So, as always, we're going to cover the five basic areas. The audios, the visuals, the gameplay, something good, something bad, in my overall opinion. And I'll give it a couple thumbs up or down or whatever. Um, let's see. So, as always, we're going to start with kind of the developer description. Uh, the wait is over. Rash, Zit, and Pimple are returning to the last, at last, to smash hit their way through all new action-packed adventure of choreographed chaos and couch co-op may never be the same again. One to three players, well, you get the idea. So, um, you can play up to three players. This is available on Xbox Game Pass. This actually came out in August 19th, 2020. It takes about 10 gigs. Um, published by Xbox Game Studios. So, let's go ahead and get started, shall we? I mean, so right off the bat, it's got like, you know, hard rock, classic rock, let's say more hard rock, uh, audio. Okay. Alright, so we got Pimple, Rash, and Zit. Now, if you ever played like the original Battle Toads on the NES, this looked nothing like it. It looks like they went with like a very self shaded looking game. I like the sunglasses. Let's go ahead and select uh, Rash. So I don't know if you remember. So Battle Toads used to be very notorious for. Their speeder bike challenge, and the game was just really hard originally. And then they came out with one on Sega. Alright, so that's a little bit different. It's like the portrayals, they've kind of changed the portrayal of the Battletoads. Okay, so X is Strike. Y to launch enemies. So I tried playing this before and I didn't have kind of the tutorial turned on. And overall, it was kind of a bad experience. Okay, so X and B does that. Oh, that uses up life, so let's not keep doing that. So for... So... X, B, Y... Okay, so overall, like audio-wise, I think the fighting um, sounds in this game actually kind of take away from the soundtrack. I think it it's just so loud the punches. Okay, hold A to dismiss. So, yep, you know, training me how to smash defense. So the tutorial is okay. So compared to other fighters, I don't know if you uh, got to this from the Streets of Rage 4 game, but um, video that I did. This is actually a lot more sluggish, a little bit slower. And, uh,. Sorry, excuse me, I'm about to sneeze. Yeah, 
but uh, it's definitely a lot more sluggish, a lot more slower. Um, I'm, I feel like it's a little harder to uh, attack, but it does have some nice features, it seems. So now let's kind of like get into visuals while I can think about it. So that's the evade. Uh, so let's talk about visuals. It's got this real cartoony look. Um, in this particular case, unlike Streets of Rage 4, which had the hand-drawn aesthetic to it, this this has a very cartoony, almost like a remake of the Ninja Turtles. Flies and collectibles. Left trigger Y plus L. Alright, let's try it. Okay, so yeah, so that's how you heal. You can... Interesting. Yeah, um... So visually, I'm not a fan of this, this style. I really enjoyed the Streets of Rage 4 version better, so definitely check that out. Um... This is cartoony, but this has kind of got that modern Ninja Turtle look to it. And it's really colorful. Wow. Okay. So gameplay. Uh, as I mentioned, it's sluggish. There is a cool feature you can actually tag in other other toads. Uh, I'm noticing that like the bosses aren't responsive, very responsive. So like you know how you beat on a boss, will kind of have a moment to, you know, look for an opening or look for an opportunity. I'm not seeing that in this game. I, I tried it a couple times and it just didn't. It's it's an uphill battle here, so like I can't move out of the way fast enough. Um, even kind of with the dodging abilities. So yeah, dodging doesn't isn't very responsive. Well, nice feature if you're playing solo. Um, it will swap out your character, and it kind of puts them on a tag out timer so you don't really have lives which I've noticed and that's from what I can see so far but I, I don't know I'm not too thrilled with this as a beater I'm a very big fan of the original Battletoads and as a brawler it was really good even the one on Sega was actually really good um, this just feels like it's missing something, and it's just not as responsive. I don't feel like things are connecting. Now, you may enjoy this one. But this is definitely not for me. So, overall, I mean, I get it's kind of a typical brawler, platformer, side-scroller fighter um they've added a bunch of wit and humor a highly stylized cartoon look um but it, overall the controls feel kind of sluggish and slow uh something good i love to be able to swap out characters on the fly i thought that was really cool you can't do that in other brawler games uh negative kind of touched on a bunch of points it's very sluggish and unresponsive and it's not it's missing something the humor is also a little odd um i don't know who their target audience is being that i'm from the generation that grew up playing battle toads i figured that you know they would uh you know kind of cater to that audience a little more and i just i didn't get that feeling 
At least the tutorial is kind of nice. It kind of paused the game for you to to figure it out. Um, overall, this is is probably about one and a half thumbs down. I give it about a half a thumb up only just because of the fact that it is Bottle Toads, and I do like the IP. But I'm very likely after this going to install this game. Uh, it's just not for me. It is available on Xbox Game Pass. Um, if you like what you see and you, you have a different opinion, go ahead and share that down in the comments. I would love to hear it. Maybe I am missing something. Um, if there are any suggestions to make the gameplay for this better, do let me know in the comments. As always, come and enjoy us watching our videos at Tinker Gamer Hacker Maker. And stay tuned for more awesome.